All right, guys. So we got to talk about an interesting story out of Des Plaines, uh, Illinois, uh, about a conservative activist group called Awake Illinois that was hosting a panel discussion on reforming sex education at the Des Plaines Theater. And this event got canceled due to LGBTQ threats of violence. Now, the nature of the event, again, was a panel discussion on reforming sex education, okay? I'm guessing that the topic was about how to reform sex education in school, where you guys know that sex ed in school uh, is no longer really about the basics of, you know, sex or whatever. It, it's about uh, woke gender and sexual ideology, okay? That is what they're pushing in schools now, right? So, this conservative group it, is having a um event where again they're discussing this and how to reform this in school uh but yet this theater opted to halt the contract uh with this group because of these alleged threats of violence take a look group's event canceled after alleged threats from lgbtq activists nate rogers is live in displays with more nate yeah, that's right, um, Anthony and Tia. This has been a hot topic here in Des Plaines, as well as a lot of chatter growing on social media. Some 500 people were expected to attend an event here next month. The theater operator telling me moments ago uh, that there were strong opinions on both sides, and it was just best to go in a different direction. Now, the event titled Coalition for Kids was originally scheduled for February 8th here at the Des Plaines Theater, but has since been canceled. It was slated to include a number of panelists with their mission, quote, to transform the conversation on issues affecting children. This past Tuesday, a heated discussion took place inside of the Displaying City Council meeting after more than two dozen residents stood in solidarity opposing the event. Critics calling Awake Illinois a hate group and anti-gay organization. Now, the downtown theater is owned by the city of Displaying, but it's ran by Ron Onesti. Onesti says he's received many threats about hosting the event, and it was best to terminate the agreement. This thing has really opened my eyes, of course, to the way the situation of the world is today. There are a lot of threats. There are a lot of things that uh, people are saying, just mean and nasty things. I'm not for or against the situation, but I was proud of the fact that I have the opportunity to provide uh, a venue and a forum where these conversations can be had. It's too bad that uh, uh, so many outside forces don't agree with that situation. Now, in a post just yesterday on social media announcing the canceled event, where Illinois leader said donations welcome to help us secure, quote, our very own First Amendment arena for event. The, the quote goes on to say the time is now for free speech. Now, we've reached out to Awake Illinois to get their comment about the story we have not yet heard back. And displays, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Venue. who says he had to cancel an event after receiving threats. Uh, bringing guns, they said we're going to bring guns and, and show you what it's really about. I mean, it just got really, really bad, involving all kinds of things with bullets and dog feces. The event called Coalition for Kids was planned for February 8th at Displays Theater by Awake Illinois, a group that says it aims to address education and equality, but instead has faced some backlash for controversial comments involving the LGBTQ plus community. I, I was not aware of the controversy or the controversial matter. Uh, it really wasn't. When the event was first announced, some LGBTQ plus advocates like Carolyn Penta quickly took action, planning to peacefully rally outside of the venue the day of the event. Rather than yelling at folks who we don't think we could really get through to who were entering the theater, but more a show of love and hope for the trans community that we don't think this is right. And another LGBTQ plus advocate choosing to hide her identity out of concern of retaliation took their concerns straight to city officials. We just simply stated our point of view and we were heard um, by our government um, who, who I think supported our position to some degree. And, um, and I think to us, it feels like a success story. And according to the group's website, Awake Illinois is now looking for another venue to host its events. In Displays, Trey Ward, ABC7, Eyewitness News. Yeah, so you're saying that you heard that. Now, obviously, 
I can be upset at the woke leftist LGBTQ activists for basically trying to stifle free speech in this country. Um, because um, conservatives, um, when they don't agree with something, they, they just don't go, right? What they don't do is they don't threaten the owner of the theater and the establishment um, in order to try to get their way. And it's not like conservatives have not been protesting against you know certain events that are being held by some of these people. Like, for example, these drag queen shows for kids yeah conservatives have protested that a lot and guess what none of these drag queen events for kids have been shut down and this my friends is why conservatives lose and liberal woke progressives win because these establishments always 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 fold to these fucking leftists right and i'm sorry for using that language but that's how pissed off i am because once again you're seeing these people coddle to the woke mob every single damn time they always coddle to the woke mob but i can't find a story where a drag queen event for kids has been canceled because conservatives made a whole bunch of fuss about it right they'll have they'll hold those events they'll go through with their events they'll do it right they'll do it okay they don't care they're gonna have their drag queen shows for kids no matter what right but if conservatives come together to simply have a discussion about Hey, how do we reform schools in regards to some of the stuff that they're pushing on kids, some of the indoctrination? Oh, the LGBTQ community all of a sudden makes a whole bunch of threats, right? And then the coward, and I'm going to call him that because that is what he is in this situation. The coward owner of this theater decides that instead of standing up for what's right and saying, look, I am neutral. Neutral means that if... Uh, conservatives want to hold an event here that's fine and if leftists want to hold an event here that's fine as well too i'm just gonna make my paper instead of taking that position he kowtows to the leftists and cancels the event hey you can't hold it here because you know i'm scared of, of, of the wokes i'm scared of them i'm afraid i'm shaking in my pants instead of i don't know calling the police and saying hey look these people are making these threats uh, I would like to, you know, try to open up some type of investigation or something into these threats. And I also need extra security when we have this event. That's what you do. What you don't do is you, you don't give them the win. You don't bend the knee and say, oh, I'm going to cancel the event because that emboldens them. That makes them think that, oh, all we got to do is just, you know, mail a bullet to them, throw some dog feces at them. Right, just just you know, make threats and they're gonna cancel the event. We're gonna win, we're gonna get our way. And this is why these people have become so emboldened in this country. This is why they're winning. They're winning because of stuff like this. This guy is a coward. All you gotta do is get the law enforcement involved, get police involved, you know, do what you gotta do. Have some armed security and you're good. Hold the event. I'm sick and tired of these business owners saying, I'm neutral, I'm neutral, while canceling conservative events. But they never cancel the LGBTQ events, they never cancel the leftist events, those events never get canceled. But it's always canceling conservatives and then claiming to be neutral. No, you're not neutral. Neutral is holding the event regardless of the backlash. And then when a leftist decides they want to have an event there, you say, hey, well, hey, they can have the event here. That's neutral. Neutrality is not canceling conservative events and then turn around and saying, oh, I'm neutral. You're not neutral. You're siding with the left. You're siding with them. And I'm sick and tired of seeing this. Why is it that woke corporate America, small businesses, the politicians, why is everybody in this country bending the knee to these people? I don't understand. I don't get it. Are their feelings more important than everybody else's feelings in this country? What makes their feelings so much more important than everybody else's? I don't fucking get it. Okay? I'm sick and tired of this. Just a few weeks ago, I covered the Cal Rittenhouse story. The woke brewery out there in Texas claiming we're neutral. We, we, we're neutral. But we're going to cancel Cal Rittenhouse because uh, we don't agree with... Uh, 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 him hosting a rally here you're neutral you're apolitical but yet you had a pride event and you, you have them yearly you have a yearly pride event but you're neutral you're apolitical really how does that work please inform me enlighten me
Elaborate. These people are cowards, man. I, I don't I get I don't know what is it about the mob. Maybe 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 just maybe seeing these people and the destruction that they did to this country in 2020, right? Just recently when people maybe it worked. Maybe it worked. Maybe it, it really has scared these people enough, right, to see people's businesses destroyed. That all it takes is for the woke mob to make a threat and they they cower in fear. Oh, got to cancel the event. What, what you're telling these people is that your threats work. Threats of violence works. Violence works. And this is what we're telling these people all the way from the federal government refusing to go after these people, to prosecute these people as terrorists to the full extent of the law, to refusing to lock them up, okay? Giving them slaps on the wrist, all the way down to these small businesses that continue to capitulate to far leftist extremism at every turn, at the expense of conservatives, at the expense of law abiding citizens who simply are trying to exercise their right to gather and to discuss issues. Again, the precedent that is being set here, the message that is being sent here is that political violence works. That's the message they're sending. That's what you're doing. And this guy should get all the criticism in the world for this. Because he should have stood his ground. I understand it's your business. But you got to do what you got to do, man. Because you're not helping the situation. You're making it worse. You're telling them that anytime we don't like when somebody speaks, all we got to do is just make some threats and we good. We can effectively stifle speech. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.